back. Newbie Star Trek is back. Hello, everyone. My name is Marvin, and as usual, we are joined by Dan and Ricardo. Please say hi, everyone. Hey, I'm Dan. Hey, I am Ricardo, aka the newbie, aka Stinkus <laughs> Bobinkus. <laughs> are you? Isn't that Marcel? No, yeah, that's Marcel, but I, I, I use you, the moniker as well. I think take, we both take, use the moniker. Okay, okay. It is, it is, it's like a, a mantle in a comic book. It yes. is exchange, it's exchangeable depending on the name yeah, of the hero. Yeah, there are many Iron Men and many, <laughs> you know, Spider Men. There are many Stinkus Bobinkus. Uh, it's the Stinkus Bobinkus core. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Hashtag Stinkus Bobinkus. Yes. Welcome to uh, Newbie Stinkus Bobinkus, everybody. Uh, as usual, we are going through every episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation. But one not at all a time. at once. That's crazy. No, we're doing it all at once. It's going to play all at once on I screen. Have, I have a family. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I really, really don't. <laughs> Ah, uh, very good, very good. We're all alone. <laughs> no, actually, no. Ricardo has a family. He has something to fall back on. Uh, yeah, we're we're Dan and I are fucked. <laughs> ah. Uh, anyway, uh, to the listeners, if you guys have been enjoying our adventure so far, thank you. Uh, if it would help us immensely if you like the podcast, if you could maybe if you feel like it head over to apple podcasts or any other podcast portal even if you don't feel rankings, like it you know? yeah yeah every, 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 just you know just go ranking, you know go how many episodes has it been already what's wrong with you <laughs> what, 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 you you're too good for us huh <laughs> <laughs> give us the rating no just if you just feel like it it's fine it would help us a lot um and it would you know and uh this episode of the newbie star trek podcast we are watching and then discussing kind of an infamous episode i think most people who are fans of tng would consider this the episode where they hate wesley the most um yeah mm. it is justice um well uh, but wait, wait, before we get started can i can i talk about something real quick oh yeah sure. of course um there is uh, uh hot presses there is a there is a marijuana strain uh <gasps> it's called uh romulan oh uh, okay <laughs> and it's uh it's an indica okay. okay it's it is very cerebral <laughs> and uh yeah it exists it's out there not i it's not available like in my area but okay. if, if it's available in your area let me know where you live yeah. and uh how i can procure some romulan <laughs> And, and uh, if there happens to be a, a sister strain called Vulcan, yeah, make yeah. sure you get some There's of that. There's got to be. At that, you know what? Why I, would you choose Romulan? I'm so specific. It, yeah, Romulan yeah. implies a Vulcan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you always um, start with Vulcan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Romulan is like a variation of a couple. There's white Romulan. There's purple Romulan. There's grape oh. Romulan. And there's Romulan diesel. So Diesel. And, you know, yeah. All those are like <laughs> hybrids. Is diesel like a general yeah. indicator? What yeah. does that mean in in uh, well there's uh, like sour diesel, problems. there's like apple sherbet diesel. It's what like, is diesel though? What is that? Uh you mean the, the moniker Well, first of all, let's let's start off with this. Uh <laughs> Vin Vin Diesel is the, oh, the is first that diesel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. That, that, that is the begin that is the alpha of diesel lore. Vin so Diesel is the, Vin, the first. If, if you have the if you have the privilege of smoking the Vin Diesel, you are gonna get quite high. <laughs> Don't go too far back. You're just gonna get some breakdancing strain. Yeah, you're gonna get very fast, very furious. Well, it, it really Diesel. Besides it being the the name of a beautiful, beautiful man, um, <laughs> the the definition of Diesel it's basically it refers to like a specific type of of of, of weed, which is usually like associated to sativas. Okay. And it's got a very okay. specific like smell to it, and um, uh, some would say it smells like diesel. That's why <laughs> you know that's why they oh, call it diesel. That's um, interesting. I don't know have... if I want weed that smells like diesel. <laughs> <laughs> well, it but just, I guess it, I guess people do. It's it's popular it, enough that it, it, I don't know if it smells like full on like diesel, but it has like 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 it has uh, what is it called in wine in wine terms like uh, undertones. undertones undertones. It's got undertones uh, of diesel, and it's got a unique taste, and it, it's like. 
a distinct, a note. very distinct, very dense buds. Um, okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, all right, that's fucking interesting, man. Yeah, and all the derivatives the name of, uh, of that main strain. It's also the name of the our greatest American actor, uh, Vin Diesel. <laughs> Vinny D, as yeah. his friends call him. Yeah, yeah. The, as his, his his very close friend, The Rock, calls him Vinny D. So yes. I, I th- this episode, I only talked about Romulan, and then as the episodes, uh, you know, maybe like in, in like in two episodes from now, I'll talk about the the next strain I fa- find. Okay, okay, and if I find it in my area and stuff, I'll, I'll okay. bring you an update. Okay, okay, and let us Same. know how it, how it feels. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, in the meantime, this episode is justice. Um, as said before, it's kind of an infamous episode for Wesley. It's also kind of like, at least to me, it feels very throwbacky. In many ways, it feels kind of like an old original ep- original series episode of Star Trek in some ways, but. In any case, it premiered at first date aired on uh, November 9th, 1987. So, Daniel, if you could please let us know what happened around that time. Who the hell is Daniel? <laughs> Death Wish 4 had just premiered in theaters, oh, starring our good friend Charles Bronson. I wish I was dead. I wish I was dead. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, winter storms and heavy snow were uh, really bad at the time, closing schools from Washington, D.C. up to Maine. A pretty bad storm at the time. Mm. And uh, another little tidbit from the New York Times. Interesting, given our, re- our the talk we were just having, I quote, The disclosures by two Democratic presidential candidates that they had tried marijuana when they were younger have broadened <laughs> the debate over how much voters need to know about the lives of those who would lead them. <laughs> Uh, wow. so yeah, people were getting a little, uh, a little nervous about these candidates having history with, uh, with the old Mary Jane there. How far we have come since, not in a good way, in a horrible way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How far uh, we've come just to realize we didn't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty much. Uh, oh, well. It's That's funny. History. Every time, <laughs> oh yeah. It's every time we have one of these like, history sections, we always go sigh (laughs) yeah (laughs) hey i did notice something pretty interesting like uh, during the research finally it took me this long like eight episodes in but um the calendar year of 1987 um Mm -hmm. you know weekday for weekday matches 2020 oh it's so, exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. So November 9th, when we Ooh. come around to it, will be on the same day of the week as it was back then. Oh, oh I like that. Interesting. A lot. Yeah. Okay. So if you have an old calendar from 1987 uh, lying around, guess what you can use again? Oh, man. We should have uh, we should have timed the podcasts to release on the exact same days. Yeah. Oh, nice yeah. job, yeah. Marvin. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. You're going to have to hold off on, on your Star Trek journey. And we're you, just on this course days. forever. So long as we release <laughs> one one episode a week, we are forever displaced in the timeline. <laughs> well, we will outtake them because they only made 26 episodes a year. So eventually we'll we'll, we'll overtake them. You know, oh, I guess that's true. Speed. Yeah, that's yeah, true. So. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So so justice. Uh, he's uh, technically a Wesley centric episode, but he's sort of a MacGuffin. Um, um, yeah, yeah, it's a very, very sexy episode. Uh, yeah, people, people, mm-hmm. are, people are having sex. Many bodies visible, allegedly on the having sex left and right. Um, according yes. to this quote, is it as good as your report suggests? Number one, as per reports, of a class M, Earth-like, beautiful. It will startle you. Sounds wonderful for the children. The holodecks are marvelous, of course. But there's nothing like open spaces and fresh air. I've listed my report on their customs and laws, sir. Fairly simple, common sense things. They're wild in some ways, actually puritanical in others. Neat as pins, ultra lawful. And they make love at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Any hat. Yes, yeah, yeah, so that implies dude. Tasha Yar was like, yeah, they definitely. Oh, she's yeah. so into it when they get, be- yeah. get back down. She can't wait to jump on to people. Yeah. Well, that yeah. guy, one guy is like, oh, hello again. Yeah. So they's <laughs> like, come here, baby. <laughs> um, before we get started, I want to point out that this episode is directed by James Conway. Mm. James Conway directed ep- episodes of Star Trek The Next Generation, mm-hmm. uh, Star Trek Voyager, uh, mm-hmm. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. He directed the Star Trek Borg video game, uh, Enterprise. Um, wait, the Borg video game. Oh, wait, sorry. Okay. 
Go ahead. Star sorry. Trek Borg, the video game. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Star Trek Enterprise and an episode of the Orville. So this guy is well seasoned in his Trek. Yeah. Yeah. He's been around. I mean, not at this point, he's been around. Back then, probably not so much. He's probably a young man. Uh, mm-hmm. He's probably, let's see, uh, early 30s when he directed mm-hmm. this episode. Mm-hmm. And um, that's all I have about this director. Cool. Direct, uh, directed the Magicians. Is this is a guy. Thing. This is a guy who uh, ended up sticking made a around. Star, yeah, made a Star he, he's Trek a TV career. guy. He's a TV guy. He's done yeah. a lot of. He's did like a lot of like Comic Con TV shows. This, yeah. this is a guy. <laughs> yeah. that he, he. This uh, is a guy yeah. that directs. That's like, a that charmed. is a genre. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, Sight, isn't it? Charmed, <laughs> it sure is. Smallville, Supernatural. Uh, a oh, couple man. episodes of Nine Hundred Two and No. It's got that remake. flavor. Yeah, it's yeah. got that yeah. feel. The magician. It's why that one year Breaking Bad was at Comic Con. Everyone's like really happy, but they're also like, "Why? Yeah, why are yeah. you here?" Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's yeah. interesting. All right, Ricardo, if you would like to take us through a, a sexy journey, sexy dangerous journey, really. Uh, what's yeah. The, uh, okay. This episode to the this planet episode. of pretty white people. Yeah, <laughs> that's one uh, uncomfortable part about this episode. Yeah, uh, when they when they start getting into the justice. Yeah, that's one and of my hair perms. Yeah, we'll get to that. So, um, in this episode, what oh, do we know the name of the planet? Uh, uh, the name of the planet is. Hmm. Uh, you Rubicon three. Oh, Rubicon is, three. oh, it's okay. Oh, right. It's, it's that's a thing that happens a lot in Star Trek, where um the the star system is usually named after uh the star, so the star would be called Rubicon, mm-hmm. and then they usually don't have names for the planets if it's not like an important planet. Okay. So it'll just be like that's just the third planet out from the center of Rub- the it's Rubicon. It's just that third rock from that sun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes, just like the it show. Is a, yes. <laughs> um. So, um. In this episode, they they go visit this planet, and previously to to when the show starts or this episode starts, not the show, they've left some of their crew to to in in a nearby planet. Um, mm-hmm. Which which begs the question: all the planets they've visited. They never have to use oxygen masks, so they only visit planets that that they can or M class. Yeah, M-class. it's just it's just it's just convenient for the show. It's okay. usually <laughs> that's the main reason. Okay, so, and and coincidentally, these aliens, let's call them <laughs> illegal mm-hmm. aliens, they they uh, they can also breathe our air. Yeah, and also Ever, we never they, oxygen, yeah. like you never see like um. Like a Ferengi sneeze, and and then like half the crew dies like the next day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess I guess the technology is so far advanced that like I mean, in the next episode we we talk about the common cold. So we, we so we're getting to some some certain things that we're talking about now in the show that involve like answers that are being given about like simple questions like. Uh, does anybody get sick? Does anybody get sm- uh, chicken pox? A lot, of, a lot of those questions that I had, are, I feel like slowly uh, being answered, mm-hmm, which I mm-hmm. like. Um, so, all right. So we only deal with people who can breathe the same air as we can. Uh, everybody else can go get fucked. Uh, we don't deal with them. Uh, so this is a class M planet. And when the show starts, Riker, Data, and Lieutenant Yar come back. They're, they were the away crew. They come back mm-hmm. from this visiting this planet of white people, of sexy white people. And yeah. they come up, and Riker and Yara have a, the biggest fucking smiles on their face when they yeah. walk in. Mm-hmm. To, I to love the their grins. Yeah, Data's like, I don't care. I didn't fuck anybody. Uh, but clearly, Riker and, and Yara definitely fuck somebody. Oh yeah. Well, even Jordy. Jordy, you know, like we'll learn later that Jordy is kind he's of a real a, horn dog. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah. He's quite horny. Yeah. Um, but he definitely got some action here. Well, he's just we, like a secondary character, so they didn't like give him as much coverage. Well, he's the guy yeah. who gives a line drop of a hat. Yeah, it's yeah. true. <laughs> and the thing is, we, we don't really see Jordy's like face, so we can't see if he's smiling, but we assume he's smiling. <laughs> or smiling with his eyes. But we guys, can't. guys, I think we all need to be a little more sensitive to Data while he was down there. As you think Tasha you, went around with anybody and everybody. You, you think Tasha was just sleeping around? And he's like, oh my god, I'm still, I'm still hung up on her. No, he uh, has no emotion, so he'd probably be like, interesting, interesting. Everyone's fucking. Well, we'll I can see. also, I am also fully functional. I could be fucking, but yeah. But I'm just going to watch you guys like a creeper. Um, <laughs> I'm going to study everyone. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like to watch, he, th- so, he says. 
So then they come back and they're like, man, let's let's head down there again. Like, let's all fucking go down there. Let's relax. Let's fuck a couple of people and then see what kind of weird like space STDs we can get. It's actually really fucked up. They're basically their plan is everyone go on shore leave. And the yep. premise of the shore leave is let's f- fuck this planet. Yes. Like everyone will just. Yep. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That that's that's accurate to old sailors, though. <laughs> Old but they're, sailors? They're not supposed to do that. They're not <laughs> supposed to, but guess what happened? <laughs> it's so weird because this episode, just to like go jump ahead, a little, we'll jump right back, but just to jump ahead slightly, the problem of the, the prime directive comes up again, mm-hmm. but the very premise of the episode is not okay with the prime directive. These are, this is a, they just discovered them, first of all, which is why they don't know anything about them. Yeah. They are not supposed to be in contact with societies that don't, have are not sufficiently advanced so if they don't have usually it's warp technology they don't have warp technology you're supposed to just watch them from a distance and not interact with them but they're going out of their way to be like oh yeah we just beamed onto the planet and start fucking like it's like yeah it's it's very this is why it felt very like original series because that's what kirk would do kirk would just go there and be like oh they're hot let's fuck them Yeah. yeah i mean no harm no foul we're not interfering with the with you know the evolution of their species. We're just fucking them right now. Yeah. Also, they kind of look like us, so it's okay to fuck them. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are you waiting so, for? So so they beam down and and like and and the uh, Picard's like, hey, uh, I want you to you guys to go beam down there, and then uh, why don't you guys take old Wesley here? Because uh, he's got to fuck, you know, leave his mom up here, and like Picard, like like threw him a bone, threw Wesley a bone, like, hey, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, your mom's not gonna go with you. You're gonna be unsupervised. You, what happens down there? Look at Riker's face. What happens down there? <laughs> it's not for us to know. And then Wesley comes down and he fucks it up, dude. He fucks it up royally. Um, Boy, does he. So, Without any so, fucking. N- yeah, exactly, no. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so who goes down there? Uh, Tasha, uh, Worf, uh, Riker, uh, Tiana Troy, and old Wesley in his yep. lame ass fucking costume. Yeah. They all get beamed down there to the um, everybody's in shape, white people planet. Uh, they mm-hmm. all have perm. Well, one the the main girl has a perm. Yeah, and then or like uh, a wig of a perm. Yeah, so they beam down there, and she kept reminding me of Carrie Russell. Yeah, I guess oh, so. I guess bit, I could see that. Bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little felicity so th- in that. <laughs> they beam down there, and uh, is it me or or was is this a weird observation that maybe I had just hadn't noticed until this episode, or maybe they did it intentionally? But uh, Deanna Troy's uniform. Showing a lot of cleavage in this one. Usually, they're very conservative. What she wears? Oh, I think I think it's just it's just so brightly lit now. Okay, that I mean like, that's why. I'm, I'm yeah, because like, because her outfit is pretty silly for the first few seasons. Where it's okay, just like okay, okay. you're you're technically an officer, yeah, you know, yeah, but you're you're wearing. Why are you the only one wearing this? Yeah, in fact, I think that deep a- V-neck is pretty um, standard in this season. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, and also so, there's a character later in the series who will be like, why are you wearing that? <laughs> and then, uh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so they'll bring it up. Yeah. So so uh, they beam down there, and all of a sudden, like this, the girl with the perm, her name is... Um, Rivon. Rivon, yeah. Rivon uh, runs over to them. Rivon and uh, what's the dude's name? Um, Leator. 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 Yeah. Leator and Rivon run over there <laughs> to, to, to greet uh, the crew. And clearly, they've had interaction before. Oh, yeah. They're very friendly. Um, Old Worf, he comes over to, to steps in front of Riker. <laughs> and he's and Riker's like, no, 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 step down, dude. She's mine. I call her <laughs> dibs, my friend. Plus, I refucked her. Um, <laughs> and they're wearing like very, very skimpy clothes. Uh, they're not wearing underwear. Clearly, you, you yeah. can't wear underwear with. with they're these all clothes. wearing the same yeah. clothes. It's crazy. Like and, they're and the man's wearing like a weird man, like Borat style, like mankini kind of, <laughs> like where like it crosses, it, like it almost covers. It's supposed to cover the old uh, the old nipples, but it doesn't. It kind of it really exposes yeah, them. It intentionally exposes yeah. them. And yeah. it brings attention to them, really. Yeah. It, and, it has um, like some vibes of Zardoz. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I guess they don't have belts. So the only way to keep the suits on is through it looping around your neck. I guess it makes sense. Just loosely hanging. Yeah. They're all wearing Tom's shoes. They're, they're all wearing like <laughs> flesh colored Tom's uh, on their feet. Um, I mean, he's he's 
he's universe wide, not just not just the U.S. <laughs> uh, so they're wearing flesh colored toms, and and they approach them, and right away there's a lot of crazy vibes going on. Like the girls like rubbing up against against Riker. Riker's definitely like he is getting up all on her, dude. <laughs> uh, he definitely like just hold on to her fucking f- the back of her head, dude. And then they they pan they 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 cut to uh, Deanna Troy, and she is visibly not okay. She's like, she, what the yeah, fuck is going fake. on? Yeah, she's like, nope, I don't like this because that dude just starts approaching her without really like permission. Yeah, it just, well, he it, waves at her first, and he's like, hey, and then he slowly crips up, and he's like, uh, welcome, you lovely one, and he he kisses her neck. He kisses yeah. her neck. And like he goes, oh, I know you like sex, basically. And yeah, then she's yeah. like, why are you saying that? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> you're hot. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then you she, love it. <laughs> and then she goes over to, to Tasha and he and she's like, hey, I, I remember you, man. I mean, lady. And and Tasha's like, yeah, let me grope you. Let me grope your back a little bit. And she <laughs> definitely like is smiling and like just smelling his essence. But she's like uh, sighing like a schoolgirl into, yeah, his, yeah. into his neck. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the other Troy's like, well, yeah, you know, let's keep it professional. Let's keep it professional. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's healthy to, you know. And then the, the curly hair girl goes to Worf and she's up all on him. And mm-hmm. Worf's like, well, I'm kind of into it. But we later find out a secret about. Things. Oh, yeah. Should That's I play that really clip? Funny. I, I, um, I, I we should wait till, we should get, wait till we get to that point. Okay, okay, it's okay, a okay, funny ass clip. Yeah, yeah. It's and great. then and then the curly hair girl finally goes to greet Wesley. And she's like, oh, you're you must be like a boy. What are your customs? And he's and he's like, well, you know, uh, you know, um, he, he's re- clearly embarrassed. He's like, you know, yeah. uh, whatever, uh, whatever you guys do down here, I guess I'm I'm down with it. Um, I don't I don't really. Uh, I don't really fuck adults, I guess, because I'm a child. <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> what business did Picard have sending him down there? He heard what yeah. they all said up there. Yeah, he said he said they fuck at the drop of a hat. So, like, Wesley, you know. go down and search and check if this yeah. fuck planet is appropriate for young people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if somebody loves you up, come up and tell us, and we won't send the children. But if no one loves you up, then uh, then uh, we're good. We're good. But so clearly, Wesley is. I mean, he's he's a he's like what, like seventeen, eighteen? No, in real, he's, in real he's life? way younger than that. I think he's in supposed real to be younger than that. Oh, he's supposed to be younger, but it, what is he in in real life at this point? Like oh, 17, 18 maybe. Maybe I'm not yeah. sure. I honestly don't remember how old. Uh, um, old, old what's his face was Will Wheaton? Um, yeah, Will Wheaton. Yeah. Um, let's let's look it up. Okay, somebody do the math. Okay, uh, Will Wheaton was born in seventy two. And this episode was, was in 15. He was mm-hmm. 15. Okay. So Give if they go by the age he really is, uh, he's he's a teenage kid. He's in high school. He's, you know, maybe he hooks up. Maybe he gets a second base, you know, not all yeah. the way. Let's just, let's explore our bodies. But this girl, this curly haired girl is groping him. She's groping yeah. a child, basically. <laughs> yeah. Statutory rape, unless you're like in Georgia. Uh, then it's fine. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, and then, um, so Wesley's like, I don't know what to say. I'm in, like, I'm in front of these people that are my superiors. I don't know what to do. And they're like, okay, you're fine. You're fine. You're yeah. you're you're a teenage kid. The, the problem fine. is that he he's like in a I need an adult moment, but the yeah. adults are all like, well, well, we're here to fuck. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, you <laughs> so do whatever you want to do, man. <laughs> um go like have so, a run or something yeah they're like <laughs> and and uh wesley wesley's like maybe, maybe maybe i should um maybe i should not be here like you could get that vibe from him like he's like and then and then the curly hair girl she's like dude don't worry there's kids your age we're gonna get them we're gonna get to them yeah. don't worry they're you can fuck them if you get yeah you can fuck them <laughs> or at least get close to fucking them you can get, you can fuck someone your own size <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> Um, and oh, then he's no. like, "Hey, let's let's all go to this like this like hall where where everybody hangs out at, and um, yeah, let's all run there." And then yeah. and then she's like, "Rivon, uh, perhaps they can't run." <laughs> <laughs> Like, how yeah, the, yeah these uh, humans can't run they're idiots and then and then he's like of course we could run 
uh, we'll run wherever you fucking want us to. Yeah, we're wearing we're wearing we're, we're wearing these silly goddamn boots, but we can run in these silly boots. <laughs> so they're running. But please, uh, for the love of God, don't make us sweat. <laughs> I know, especially <laughs> Worf. Like he's like, oh god, I'm wearing all this makeup. I'm definitely gonna be sweating. <laughs> I, I wonder how many takes he did. Um, and this this looks like I don't know how long Huntington Gardens has has been around, but it looks like that kind of doesn't it? it has like a weird like. Oh, I actually have a quick little uh, tidbit about this location because this was oh, shot on location at what is called the Donald C. Tillman Water Reclamation Plant. Oh. Yeah. And it has this famous Japanese garden, which has been used as the backdrop for several like sci-fi things, including several episodes of Star Trek. Um, okay. It's even been reused as part of Starfleet HQ exterior. Okay. And um, oh. it was also prominently featured in at least one Firefly episode. Okay. Where... Um where is it? What like what state? What city? It's in California. I, did it say it was in Van Nuys? Oh, Van it'd have to be near L.A. They were shooting oh, okay, on, okay. on the on the CBS the lots back then. So I mean, I'd imagine it'd have to be somewhere. Yeah, Van Nuys, Van Nuys. Yeah, yeah, or near L.A. And say. then and then they 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 run over to like the the town hall, whatever you call it. And then um and then again, this curly haired girl is all up on Riker again. Just yep. hugging him up again. Rivon just hugging uh, Riker uh, again. And then these kids walk by and old, uh, whatever this dude's name is, he's like, children, we've brought a, a new friend for you guys to play with. And it's got weird connotations when he says yeah. that. Yeah. And, and then the quote unquote kids turn around and the, <laughs> the teenage girl kind of looks like she looks young. So she, you're like, okay, she looks like her age. But then there's yeah. one dude who's like hairless. You're like, yeah. okay, I, I believe it. He's probably like yeah. 17, 18. But this other dude, a bunch of body hair. Bunch of <laughs> he's body got hair. A full chest of hair. Yeah. And he's, <laughs> he's just a be, smaller man. He's yeah. just a smaller, yeah. full grown <laughs> man. That's all it was. He's a full Long grown 15. man. And he's wearing, he's wearing. V neck underwear. Yeah, I swear couldn't God, they? Couldn't they have at least just shaved his chest to make it a little no. more? <laughs> no, that would have cost them extra. He's like, dude, that's a stunt fee. Yeah, that's a stunt fee. <laughs> I don't shave my chest. If you want Yo, me to this... shave my chest, that's a stunt fee. That's a hundred. Needs that bucks. chest hair for his next part. If you yeah, yeah, yeah it, it was off. like Caesar Romero. This this chest oh. hair made my <laughs> yeah, career. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. man, if you want to paint over it? Paint over it. Yeah. yeah. Oh <laughs> man, you should just paint it over it with some <laughs> <laughs> flesh colored paint. Um, and she's wearing like the, these weird overalls, so you're like, oh, okay, I, I could see like she's she's like a, a pre adult girl. I get it. Cool. We're gonna dress her up to look that way. But the dude with the V neck underwear, man, he he's like in his thirties. This yeah, guy's not a child. He's seen. He's it. It feels like he's pretending and tagging along. And yeah. Doesn't like, it feel like he's a pervert? Like he's yeah, like, yeah, he, I'm young. I, don't I'm worry. Hang, yeah, I am. Um, I belong here with. I these belong children. with these children. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do we? Uh, uh, what do we? Let's playing? let's let's tumble around as we often do as children. Yeah. that's what he would. Let's whisper let's, uh, to them. Walk on our hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then uh, Rivon's like, yeah, let's go inside. And then they go inside, and there's more sexy people. They're doing yoga. They're doing weird like expressive Square dancing. dancing. Yeah. It's like, weird. <laughs> <laughs> dancing and they're drinking like champagne and they're walking yeah. around wearing really skimpy clothes yeah um then more yoga there's a lot of there's a lot of like stretching and stuff and then there's a dude laying on his front uh and he's getting all oiled up and rubbed up by yeah, these two very oiled women. all white women all white men <laughs> white women no I, I feel like that was like their purge that they later talk about <laughs> was like we gotta get rid of all the minorities. Uh, gotta get oh, rid of the minorities. No. <laughs> That's actually the truth of what happened. Is yeah. that yeah. is that like because oh, it's no. kind of sketchy that like they don't it really is go sketchy. into it. Yeah. The whole the whole premise is sketchy because you know this is a strangely white only planet and yeah. they have a very strong sense of quote unquote justice that leads directly to death. Yeah. So it's like, and, it, there's something shady going on. I think it's ethnic cleansing that's happening. <laughs> um, I think that's like the the C plot line that that they kind of cut out of this episode. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it is. Yeah. Um, well, that, this episode is a, simply the price of Law and Order, fellas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, in, no. in this in this world, and this, then ep this episode was apparently like rewritten like the most out of or one of the most rewrites of any episode of the first season. And apparently, the initial premise of the episode wasn't. Like it's like it wasn't just like it's a really sexy planet and then a thing happens. It was like, oh, there is a there's a resistance movement and they have to decide if they want to join the resistance movement or not. Oh wow. That was the original premise. 
And then I guess Wesley became a bigger part of the show and they rewrote the episode to have Wesley incorporated somehow. So I don't know. Fucking Wesley. It's, it, it's a, it's, it's why the episode feels like there isn't a lot of actual plot. There's a lot of just them walk running around and then touching and then the thing happens, you know, and then that's. So we, we cut to the B storyline, which is Picard's story, like what's happening right. with Picard up in the enterprise. <laughs> uh, and the B storyline is the bubble God. Uh, right. basically what is it? So what are they looking out of? It's not a window. Is it just like an LCD screen that they're looking out of? Yeah. So that, that that's a misconception. People always think it is a window, but it's actually a big TV. And then, um, it, it can have a view of what's directly outside, but it's designed to mostly function as a right. big television. That's why it can like turn and stuff. And they're like, oh, look, look to the other side. It's because it's just a camera. Yeah. And that's why he always says on screen. Yeah. 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 In the, in the movies, uh, the, the modern movies, the JJ Abrams movies, they actually have made it both a window and a TV because they thought finally we might as well just give in and give in to what people thought it always was. So, so the, the modern, the modern movies, the JJ Abrams shit is it's a window and, and a, uh, I guess LCD screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Uh, but this one is strictly an LCD screen, basically. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so they're looking out the, the 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 looking at the screen of what's what's in front of them, and they see this like weird transparent like ship, and then out of the ship, little, like the ship's butthole, like something pops <laughs> out, a little like shiny bubble, and mm. then it travels all the way to the Enterprise, and it appears in like in a hallway, and the crewmen are like, "What the fuck is this bubble?" Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it goes into the wall, and it and it like appears out of the floor right in front of them right in front of the bridge and uh they're like what the hell is this thing and it's like a little like bubble Mm -hmm. uh and it's bubble god as i call it and it approaches uh picard and it like it it makes a weird noise and picard's like ah it's too loud Ah!" (laughs) and and then it shakes everything for some reason and then it's like it's like state your purpose here it's like asking questions it's demanding demanding answers and he's like, hey, bro, calm down, dude. Look, look, he's like, hey, calm down, fucker. We're here. We just left some people at, at the neighboring planets. Uh, we're just, you know, we're just trying to conserve the human race by, you know, doing what uh, what everybody's done before us is to just go over to the next country or the next <laughs> planet and give everybody fucking smallpox. <laughs> They're trying to be fruitful and multiply. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what he says, really. Yeah. He says, hey, we're trying to be, we're trying to multiply and, you know, and trying to conserve our human race. And then all of a sudden it attacks Data and it like sucks up all his memories. <laughs> it, like it's a soul yeah. sucker. Yeah. He wirelessly uh, and then, syncs with him. I know. Yeah. I know. And it takes a long time because it's why it's not wired. Mm-hmm. So he's, <laughs> he's out for a while. He keeps losing packets. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is oh, the voice man. of this God, God guy. I feel like this voice is the inspiration for the Futurama. Oh yeah. Cloud. Totally. He sounds like that guy. And he's credited, he as, your purpose. He's yeah, credited yeah. as Edo Lord because uh, okay. I don't think we've ever mentioned the actual name of this race that lives on the planet. The, it's, it's like, it's the, the, the spelling is Edo, but yeah, they keep saying Edo. They keep saying Edo, yeah. which really bothered me, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know if it's <laughs> supposed to be a play on the Freudian concept of id. Uh, maybe. Although they're kind of super, they're kind of super ego, you know? Like they're they're very surface and fucking. Yeah, and They don't true. have any true understanding of what's going on below that. But, uh, eh. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, don't mess with Edo Lord's horny kids. No, no, no. <laughs> those are his children. And then we cut to we cut to old Wesley. He's down there fucking just running around like an idiot. And the uh, the weird o- older man child. Yeah. Uh, he's like, hey, check this out, man. And he starts what walking I can on do. his hands. Yeah. yeah. He's like walking on his hands like a weirdo. And then Wesley's like, I can't do that, but I could do this. Let me yeah. do some cartwheels. And, uh, <laughs> it reminded cartwheels. me of the Mad TV. Uh, fucking at, at, was it McDonald? It was not McDonald. But the guy who goes, look what I can do. Oh, Michael McDonald. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Michael McDonald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stuart, you know, Stuart. They, yeah, yeah, that was a Stuart character. But as they run around, I keep thinking of the Banana Split song. <laughs> well, they're they're running to that, that na, theme. Na, 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 na. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can totally hear that. You hear that or a double mint gum commercial. <laughs> and then and then the, the young uh your young lady uh come, runs up to Wesley after he does his sweet, sweet Carp- tumbles. So Carp- impressive. He says, I want, I want you to do something too. 
will you? And was he's like, oh God, <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? He starts pulling at his collar. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, hey, it's hot. It's getting hot in here. And it's like, yeah, it's hot. Look at what we're wearing. Look what you're wearing. You're wearing something your grandma fucking knit you. And we're all <laughs> here wearing almost nothing. <laughs> and, uh, and she's like, she's like, teach, teach us, teach me something. Will you? And he's like, oh, boy, what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> and he's getting really nervous. He's doing the old, the old, oh, boy. And he's like, there's there's games I guess I could teach you. And she's like, yeah, teach us. Will you teach us? And he's like, oh, yeah. He's like, oh, I thought you wanted to me to show you how to do some sexual shit. He's like, <laughs> which I have no experience. Teach anal. <laughs> Wesley's, like, Wesley's like, I have no experience doing any shit. You, you, you're talking to the wrong guy. Look at the sweater I'm wearing. The only thing he knows <laughs> about is anal. Yeah, yeah. It's like, if you want to like, know all about I know, that, like, I, yeah. I'm your guy, but anything yeah. else, uh, he's like, I, I'm a, a specialist. traveler taught me he's all like, about look, anal. Look, look, this traveler taught me this thing. He said, <laughs> old Ed O'Neill, God Ed O'Neill, <laughs> <laughs> he, he doesn't care if it's in the butt. <laughs> Anything else, he cares whatever in the butt. It only it only doesn't care. Um, um, so so you can never let anyone know because yeah. if anyone ever learns that the the time and space are connected to the anus, we would, yeah. we would fuck over the future. Yeah, we we would rip the the fabric of time and buttholes. Um, mm. And he's like he's like look. Um, th- this leads to my favorite line from from this episode, which is. <laughs> Which is like he's like yeah yeah I'll I'll teach you a uh, teach you old baseball and yeah. she's like what 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 do you mean baseball she's like look uh, we got a ball because one of the dudes is, has a ball in his hand yeah and he's like we need a bat we need a bat we need um and she's like what are you talking about she looks confused as shit like she's never heard of like the concept of a bat and a ball it feels like it's been around for the longest time before baseball. Like caveman <laughs> was like, I got a rock and I got a stick. We've got time. Let's fucking hit this rock with a stick. It's a very <laughs> understandable concept. Yeah. Like it's simple. Like we're bored. We're going to just, we're either going to golf it. We're going to, we're going to hit it from the ground. Yeah. Or we're going to, we're going to throw it and then just smack it. So it's mm-hmm. a, it's a concept. Even the caveman understood. But this girl doesn't understand it. She's like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> and he's like a stick or a branch, you idiot. And he's like, and this is my favorite line. He says, it's about this long and <laughs> this thick. <laughs> <laughs> and she's looking at his hand when, she, when he says this thick. And she's like, oh, boy. Uh, she's like, oh, like, oh, yeah. Like in the garden. And he's like, yeah, yeah, of course. We get, the, we get a stick and we can hit this ball. <laughs> Uh, which is weird because later on they're they're playing with the ball, but they're not playing baseball. They're playing football, so it's really they, weird. It's really confusing. yeah. They're just playing running catch. Yeah, yeah. On, yeah. on the way there, they're just like, you know what? It's not worth getting yeah. the stick. The stick yeah. is very well. Yeah. That that, it, it, that garden the at girth. the plant was too well groomed. There yeah. weren't any <laughs> loose branches about. It, everything's really well groomed here, if you know what I mean. Ah. Um, and uh, and we, we cut to Riker, and he's fucking smiling, and he's fucking nodding at everybody like an at idiot. At this point, like, he's oh, had yeah. sex at least twice, you could he's tell. At least, he, he for sure has gonorrhea. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Already. At this point. <laughs> yeah, and then we... we, we but it's the future, so you could be like, oh, we can take care of that when we get back. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah. And then you're you're looking at Riker, looking at people, and they're like, they're playing dice and they're drinking and they're like kissing. And in the background, you see you t- you see Tasha and she's she's drinking with this dude and yeah. the girl. Both the yeah. girl. So she's like, Yeah, dude, I've I've visited both worlds and I could say I like them both. <laughs> um and she's really excited back there. She's laughing and this is this has got to be a crazy extra day because everyone's kissing and groping on each other. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's like yeah. the happiest we've ever seen her and him. Riker's never had this. Smile oh, yeah. Before. Him too. Yeah. Yeah. He, the, the biggest smile he had before this was probably whenever like Picard some some, some, sort of, some sort of line or no, it's probably actually when he first meets Data and then Data goes oh like uh, i i wish i was a human and he smiles and goes nice to meet you pinocchio and that's smile kind of about like as big, big when he's like oh he's being sherlock holmes everybody <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> at that too look yeah. at him yeah. go look at this yeah, idiot. Yeah. um and then we see Riker approach uh wharf and <laughs> yeah. we see the cool i see this thing i like the show because of the background all the background actors that's my jam uh <laughs> what's happening in the background and what's happening in the background is we see Deanna Troy 
and she's hanging out with the oldest people of the whole fucking group. <laughs> Everybody else really young, really white, young, 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 really hot yeah. skin. And she's hanging out with the fucking grandpa of the group. He looks <laughs> a lot older than everybody else. And the lady also looks a lot older than, than all the rest of the people. She's clearly like, look, these people don't want to fuck. They just, they're, <laughs> this, they're, this, is, this is my safe group. To yeah. They're, they're retired. They're not going to do shit. They're going to just fucking talk to me about all the fucking they did before, <laughs> before in their youth. And then, uh, but that's what's happening in the background and in, in the foreground, is uh, is old Riker talking to Worf about about fucking basically, and uh, we learned a little bit about Worf. Which do you have the clip? Oh, here's the clip. Yes. The good life, Worf. I am not concerned with pleasure, Commander. I am a warrior. <laughs> Even Klingons need love now and then. For what we consider love, sir, I would need a Klingon woman. What about plain old basic sex? You must have some need for that. Of course, but with the females available to me, sir. Earth females, I must restrain myself too much. They are quite fragile, sir. Or if anyone else had said that, I'd suspect he was bragging. Bragging, sir? I think I'll pass on that. (laughs) The last line of Riker saying, I think I'll pass on that, means is is, is Riker like, oh, I want to actually experience what you're talking about. Like, is he like kind of, was it, was he kind of making a pass? He was on the verge of saying, like, whip it out right now. He's like, look, I want to see it. I want to see it. I have to see it. Worf. I, it's, it's not like, a question if I like want before, to or not. I wasn't I attracted to. to you, but now yeah. I'm curious. Yeah, does yeah, that have spines or what? Let's see it. He's like, Worf, Worf, it's just for fucking science. Do it. <laughs> um, and uh, he's basically like, dude, uh, Worf's like, dude, if I fuck a human lady, it's going to be bad. So all I, will I can fuck do her is to just, death. Yeah, I just <laughs> have to lay there with my hands behind my back like this, <laughs> and you see it hands behind his back. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, I have to just sit there still, or else yeah. I will I'll kill these human humanoids. And then Riker does his whole uh, pass, pass, hard pass. And then uh, but he does have the biggest contact. grin in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he does. He, uh, about... he Riker tries to contact the bridge, and he gets no answer. He's like, Worf, let's fucking get everybody together. Something sketchy's going on here. Now that I fucked everybody here, I I suspect something <laughs> something's going wrong. Now that my head's clear, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> uh, and and then Worf goes over to Tasha and and, he, and he's like trying to get her attention. He's like, okay, um, and but she's talking to to old Rivon and the dude, and they're like they're like, so tell us like like Tasha's trying to inquire about this planet, and and then the guy starts just volunteering a bunch of information. He's like, hey, long ago. It was crazy here. And she's like, yeah, but like you guys don't have a pol- the police. You guys don't seem like you have like anybody to control anything like no mm-hmm. law enforcement. Like what's going on here? And he's like, look, um, we have these dudes. They're called mediators. They're not really police. They just kind of go and they punish. They, they punish people who violate the laws in the forbidden zones. We so if have you're, judge if you're, dreads. Basically. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, exactly, dude. Basically, if you break the law within these forbidden zones, anywhere else, you could do whatever you want. You get fuck, mm-hmm. you can kill what it seems like. You can fight, you can kill anything yeah, you want. Yeah, that's Just weird, huh? don't break the law in the forbidden zone. And yeah. where are the f- forbidden zones? I don't know, where there's like a really, the tiniest white fence you can see, <laughs> known to man. That's Easily trip the, over it. Yeah. <laughs> you can literally be reading a book while you're walking, trip over yeah. the goddamn fence, and then you're you're fucking dead. Uh, because he's Judge Dread show up wearing close to nothing as well. Sexy oh, Judge Dreads. Sh- sexy Judge Dreads. They have a little pouch <laughs> on the side. They pull up, pull open the pouch. Guess what? Boom! Lethal injection. You're fucking dead, dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Prominent nipple and, windows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, um, he's like, so crimes are only punished within those forbidden zones. Other than that, we're fine. And then, and then Warp's like, oh fuck, oh fuck. And right away, you don't have to. He doesn't have to say it. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. As soon as as soon as they learn about the punishment for everything being death, yep. both Tasha and Worf literally go, Oh my god, we have to find Wesley now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you know. they, they don't go, they don't go, well, where is Riker? Well, let's go find no 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 or, or no nothing. They instantly it's, know Wesley yeah. is the problem. It's like yeah. fuck, Wesley's gonna die. This He's broken asshole. at least five laws yeah. by now. We gotta go find He's like, look, he broke the Geneva Convention up in our ship. <laughs> He's a war. <laughs> He's literally, <laughs> he's a war criminal. And, 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 you know, if we really played by the rules, this man, this child is a goddamn war criminal. 
Um, but but you know, since since our old Lukey probably fucking sired him, well, he's gonna get a pass. Uh, so we cut to old Wesley, and they're throwing the ball like idiots. Not really football, not really uh, baseball. They're literally just throwing the ball. <laughs> it, it's kind of like a weird running keep away. Um, it guess. reminds me of like four-year-olds playing because four-year-olds will throw balls around with no game in mind yeah they'll just be like oh, here's a, i throw the ball to you here's the ball uh, what are we doing i don't know just and but it's not even ball. catch it's no, not like it's not. catch is like you stand there i stand here we're gonna throw the ball and then if we get tired of this we we'll, we stand farther apart and farther apart and farther apart until it gets fun again but not these guys these guys are just running around like idiots throwing the ball <laughs> around and uh and and then he's like he's like he doesn't say he throw me this pass but he basically says hey throw me this pass and this dude like just launches it dude he's like fucking tom brady of fucking white, <laughs> white land over here um and 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 he's got a good arm he's got a really good arm because he launches it and it goes high and long and wesley's running for it wesley who the fuck knew great fucking running back or wide receiver <laughs> he he runs for it he basically almost makes that catch, which is a yeah. very hard catch. It's going fast, it's going high, and it's going long. <laughs> he he not only like has the ability to like jump over this this fence into the forbidden zone, but he almost catches the ball. So he's mm-hmm. not a bad football player yeah. uh, if he was on Earth. And um, this is the funniest part because you can see that it's a stunt double that crashes through those flowers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he basically goes over the the little white. It's like a little. It's a concrete and the little white bar. It's yeah. really light. Yeah, it's just like, and then and then the it's like just like a like a very light like sunbox, like a sunbox or like greenhouse box on yeah. top of it or something. Yeah. yeah. And so he crashes through it and he smashes a couple of flowers, like nothing to write home about. I yeah. mean, if it was like weed buds or something, I'd be like, dude, this this guy really fucked up a greenhouse. But <laughs> it's just plain old flowers, run of the mill flowers. And the immediately the girl's like, dude, you are so fucked. You're, You're gonna dead, die. Dude. You're gonna die, my man. <laughs> and then and then he's like, why? Why? I just uh, you know I just tripped over this thing. I I almost caught the ball. It's not a crime to drop a pass, is it? Yeah. And he's like, uh, he's like, no. But these ghouls are here, and these ghouls show up with the with the nipples out, wearing <laughs> these weird like backward glass shirts. Yeah, yeah, hourglass shirts, and with their little sweet death pouches, as I call them. And everyone's like, oh, fuck, this guy's dead. But no one's like, no one's really throwing him under the bus. Like, even the girl's like, look, he's from another planet. He's from another place. He doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. He's basically. One of the kids are like, it was my fault. You should. I should be punished. Yeah. yeah. Okay, dude. Yeah. (laughs) I just love how they handle the situation. So like. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, the mediators are like, oh, that's even cause, sadder. Cause, yeah, because well, they're like, time to oh, die. <laughs> he, he, she, yeah. she, she's like, he doesn't even know what the rules are, and he goes, they go, that's what makes it all the more sadder. It's like, Ooh. you know, that's the problem. The problem is that this guy's a need doesn't know the rules, and he's a fucking moron. Well, th- then, so everyone, th- also, like, you think, like, say you're visiting a friend in a different state, right? Yeah, you go visit a friend, and you're you're a young kid, you're a teenager, and you break the law or something or like you break a window, anything like that, just like a minor thing. And everyone, all your friends are like, no, oh, dude, it was an accident. Uh, blah, blah. Don't you just follow their lead? Don't you just follow their lead and go, yeah, dude, it was an accident. You just don't go. Nah, it was my fault. <laughs> <laughs> like Wesley does. Yeah. He's, yeah, yeah. He's like, look, I did it. So what? So what? I stepped over some fucking flowers. Not a problem here. Is it? Yeah. yeah. And he's yeah. like, no, you're dying, dude. And he's like, no, no, <laughs> but like, I'm with like Starfleet. Like, I don't lie. I just have to tell the truth. And is that one of the rules? Like, hey, we don't lie. We don't lie. Oh, no. <laughs> not at all. It's not a prime directive, right? <laughs> it's just Wesley being a dumbass. Yeah. yeah a huge dumbass. And then Riker shows up. The whole team shows up. And he's like, dude, we're not from here. We're <laughs> we're visiting. <laughs> we're just on, on, on shore leave. We're trying to fuck as many of your people as possible. Maybe in a couple of years, we'll come back. And I've sired a few kids. <laughs> uh, we don't know. Uh, but look, no harm, no foul. Let's let this. Let's take this kid. Get him out of here. And we'll prosecute him for war crimes. <laughs> not here, not here. <laughs> and um, and he's like, look, we have we have ample witnesses. The boy himself has said he fucking broke. He he admitted to his guilt. Uh, so we got a punishment coming. And they're like, well, well punishment. And Worf's like, what the fuck? What punishment, motherfucker? And he's like, uh, well, death. That's the punishment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the exact line is death, of course. 
It's like, <laughs> no, not of course. We don't know shit, dude. Especially because um, it's Wesley. Yeah, I know. But I, I feel like deep down, like you think, you think Tasha's like, yeah, finally we're getting rid of this fucking kid. <laughs> Tasha's probably like, well, it's about time. Yeah, uh, it's like Worf, <laughs> Worf. Surprisingly, like he's like, yeah, I'm gonna protect this kid. He's he's really protective. Riker's uh-huh. like, eh, well, you know, uh, l- let's just get him back. Riker's home more safe. of like, God, this is an annoying problem. Yeah, uh, because, well, he does uh, choke slam to, a dude. That's true, he, right? He but Riker, Riker just likes to. He's because he's he's very masculine. He's gonna he's, show off his moves when he can. He's a hothead, dude. Yeah, uh, he's the Kirk. So, so yeah, he would, yeah, yeah. So he 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 fucking drops a guy. Like fucking, he uses a sweet judo move, <laughs> drops a guy, and then everybody pulls out their fucking tasers or his guns, the guns of space. Yeah. <laughs> and then all everybody calm the fuck down and drop the thing, drop the yeah. syringe. And the guy drops it and they pick it up and they're like, what is this? And he's like, well, it's, it's painless. What are you talking about? It's, it's, he wouldn't have felt a thing. It would have been a sweet, sweet death for him. <laughs> uh, <and laughs> I wish now I could he's die scared. That way. Yeah. <laughs> now, now he's scared of shit. And they're like, they're like, now you've scared him. The boys, the, the his meat isn't going to taste as delicious. Cause they're scared. <laughs> <laughs> The, f- the flesh tightens up with fear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there's seriously something sinister going on in this planet. Yeah, that we're not. Yeah. In, besides the ethnic cleansing, there's some sort of like they can't. What's the <laughs> secret to their youth? And they're like, there's nobody. The oldest people were hanging out with Deanna Troy. Is this and they didn't space even look that old. Samar. Yeah, yeah. They, they must either eat the yeah. old or something's going on. Something. Or it's the island. On. You know, this is the island. Or. Oh. Or this is, you know, the old, uh, George, uh, not George, uh, HG Wells time machine, you know? Oh yeah. When they go in the future. Actually, it's very reminiscent of that. Yeah, actually. actually. The original just, time machine. We're just yeah. missing Morlocks here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for all we know, if they stayed longer, they would have found a more. And in fact, the original story talked Probably of the Morlocks uh, are just the resistance. minorities underground. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh yeah, no. yeah, yeah. We We're figured covering it out, all guys. these things, dude. Yeah. Oh man, you know how that that god ship, you know that ship has like two. <laughs> it's got like four. It's got these four legs. Yeah. What mm-hmm. if like when it revealed itself, the legs just bent and it turned into a swastika? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> this oh, is no. space Nazis. We space revealed Nazis. our truth. Are you sure there's four? Yeah. four? I think yeah. sometimes it looked like it had three, but maybe right, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Long story <laughs> short, we don't want a space swastika hovering above us. That's bad yeah. mojo. Oh, no, and, we don't want that. We and then we it. cut to we cut to the, the bridge. And don't do it, NASA. Doctor Crusher, <laughs> Doctor Crusher is like, I don't know what's going on. It's some weird imbalance in Jordy. Uh, I mean, in, in Data. And Data's laying there with a bubble god on top of its head, still <laughs> fucking just sucking up all the energy. Yeah. Finally, gets what it needs, and it just fucking is like, ah, I'm bouncing out of here. And then the communications come back, Boop. and they're like, Hey, we got to beam down there this weird like ghost ship it's like half visible half not mm-hmm. um it's really a ghost ship it's like uh, like it's like scooby doo type ghost where they're like half half in half out <laughs> uh so they're like hey we got communications back and they're like well let's beam us down there let's go check out the sixth planet and check out what riker's up to probably nothing good if we know him <laughs> and then they beam down there and uh they cut to and they, they walk into that sex dungeon and they're like, dude, what the fuck? Wesley's in fucking trouble. <laughs> <laughs> why Wesley's did you send Wesley to the plant? Riker should have been like, why did we bring Wesley? <laughs> why? Did- Seriously, Luke, Luke Picard, why? Why would you send this war criminal down to the sex planet? <laughs> you knew he was going to fuck, fuck it up for us. And now he fucked it, dude. Now we're screwed. We got <laughs> and, uh, a good thing going here and you yeah. messed it all up. Yeah, man. And there and then Luke's like, oh fuck. All right, let me fucking figure this out. And old um what's his name? Not Tavish. Why do I think his name is Tavish? Old uh, Leotor and mm-hmm. Rivan show up and they're like, Well, it seems like they're in charge. Like that's what they I get like. They seem like the sort of de facto leaders. Or at least yeah, ambassadors. Because, but because there's no yeah. elders. There's no elders. So you got these young, sexy people ruling yeah. this planet and it's like look we only have one fucking rule and that's our that's our justice system it's like don't fuck with the forbidden zones basically don't fuck yeah. with in those zones don't mess anything up and you won't get killed but they never say like it's never implied like there's no judges there's nothing it's just like you fuck up you you're dead there's no like there's no strikes nothing you're just dead yeah you sneeze on a fucking flower in the forbidden zone you're fucking <laughs> dead 
And he's like, yeah, yeah, what if you fart? No, nope, you're fucking dead. Nah, dude. <laughs> um, Vex of flowers. So they're like, this boy, he's a child. And then they, they start talking about the fucking prime directive where they're, and they should have said right now, like, hey, look, we fucked up. We shouldn't even be here. That, I, mm-hmm. I don't know why they didn't do that. Like, hey, we already fucked up the prime directive. These people, you think they have warp, warp drives? You think they have <laughs> the technology to warp anywhere? No, they, they don't even have the technology to build full clothes. Like they're just, it's <laughs> bikinis. You think they have the technology to, to build a, a spaceship? And then they're like, yeah, you know, well, that's the law we have. That's that's all we can do. And then yeah. um, it's, 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 it's just like at that point, the prime directive is so fully violated already. They should have just been like, all right, we're just out of here. Yeah, we're going to get out of here, dude. Yeah, like, whatever. But I guess it's because like, I guess uh, for some reason they believe that alien now understands their prime directive. But yeah, yeah, it's weird. So well, well, at this point, he sucked all the information from from data, so he knows everything that data knows. So right. he knows about the prime directive. They assume he does, and he also crucially knows about the other colony that they set down on another yes. another planet yeah, before yeah. getting there, yeah, which is right. under so that like God's jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah, and he's like, dude, I I I planted this seed for this Adam and Eve. And then they fucked every, they fucked all these people into existence, and and they worship this god. They're like, he's up there. We don't want to anger him. He kind of is up there. We think he's up there. And this is an interesting episode because we again we're talking about like basically faith again. Like, uh, mm-hmm. well, he's up there, and you know we got to behave uh, because we don't want to anger him. Yeah. Um, and it's then, a common and then, theme in Star Trek episodes. It'll happen a lot where it'll be like. Oh, here is another primitive society that thinks this is some sort of godlike figure. Well, they play How a lot with, with yeah. like you know advanced civilizations versus less advanced, and they often cast like the humans of Starfleet and the Federation as somewhere that's not in the final stage of evolution yet. There are all these other beings that far outclass us that they keep bringing into the stories. Right. Um, like, like the, uh, like in the last outpost, whatever that exactly, empire uh, was. You yeah. know, Tim, Tim, the guardian. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> old Ed O'Neill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so at this point, old, uh, old Lukey, he's like, Hey, so what's the deal with Wesley? And they're like, well, look, they're going to kill him at sundown. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually, uh, that's actually a blessing. Usually we kill them right away yeah, because yeah. you guys are, you guys are foreigners. Because you, because we're cool with you guys. They're going to wait till sundown and <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like kill them now, I guess if they're going to kill them, kill them. If now. you're going to kill them, kill them. Yeah, we'll- yeah. <laughs> and, and basically looks like, all right, so we have to sundown and he's like, yeah, yeah. Sundown's cool. And then he, and then he's like, he gets up and he's like, well, well, when do you come up to my ship? Which is very weird it uh, is actually. for him to say. And he says one of you, but he looks at the girl. <laughs> <laughs> clearly yeah, he, wants, yeah, he had yeah. a favorite and yeah. she's like well, of course i'll go uh, i'll go as a hostage and he's like no 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 one said hostage you yeah. said that i'm just saying we go and i want you to identify something for me yeah the you reasoning know? is really really thin like yeah it's like, like it's I need, obvious I, that's what they think god is like why would they yeah yeah or fucking show a picture you have technology yeah like is this exactly. what you, yeah, like, I don't know why they have to go, whatever. Pop your old iPhone. <laughs> and then like, all right, come over here. And she's like, I'm frightened. I'm scared. And she's like, and he's like, there's, there's no reason to be scared. You're just going to, we're going to disassemble your molecules. <laughs> 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 we're going to basically clone you. And then this version of you is going to yeah, be dead. This life will end. Yeah. And another life will begin. Just no, like the right prestige. Where you left just off. like Hugh Jackman. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. And then and then she, they beam up to the to the to the Enterprise, and she is like, "Oh my God! There's a whole city here. Everyone's clothed." Yeah. Um, and I did notice that her her clothes are completely different. Clearly, a different day. I mean, sorry, <laughs> her hair. Her hair is like looks a lot lot different. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, you can see the roots of her perm. Like, her, yeah, because because yeah. it, it was before it was like pure blonde, and now yeah. like the roots are are showing up with the their species the grows hair very quickly. Yes. Yeah, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> also, it's not even the so, same girl. Remember, we've we just established this. Maybe the transporter <laughs> wasn't quite perfect yeah, in its hair yeah, transfer. Yeah, yeah they fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. They, it 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 basically brings you. It, it moves up the day. So like, here, this is my crazy theory: is that. <laughs> It it basically takes a couple of years of days, sorry, to make you, but it does it so instanta- instantaneously. And, and you're you're in a spaceship, so it it feels like it's right away, but it took yeah. a while to make you. So the, the, <laughs> the roots grow out, 
and they're walking <laughs> they're walking around the, the the enterprise and they run into dr crusher and the doctor's like wait a minute wait a minute wait, wait a minute you were back here with this girl where the fuck's my son <laughs> <laughs> you went down to get my son you came back with this hot chick what yeah. is do you see the fucking problem here yeah, and, she's uh, she's like very. This is the the most incensed you've seen her in the show so far. Where she's very like, pissed, yeah, yeah, which is weird for a deadbeat mom. But <laughs> she's weird. Like we know she she was about to die, and she's like, I'd rather spend my last breath yeah. with you, Luke. Yeah. Then yeah. when stupid old fucking Wesley. Yeah. I don't even know who his dad is, and she's very upset. She's like, Well, I don't like this. Like you, you, you bring back this hot woman and not my son. I'm very upset. Well, so they you keep let walking. him go. It's your fault. Yeah, you, you, yeah. You're like, the one who wanted him to breathe fresh air and you now lose his virginity. Now look, that's the price he pays. Not only did he not lose his virginity, but he's going to die a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if the people are like, wait, before he dies, we have to fuck him, and then yeah, they fuck. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then he's like, oh man, this is great, and they're like, now you die. Yeah. Um. So they take her to this room, which looks like I don't know. Is it is it Picard's quarters? I don't know where they take take her. It's to. just one of the side rooms, I think. Yeah, yeah. And they, they walk her in, and she sees this ghost ship, and she's like, "Oh my god!" And she she does the equivalent of the Catholic, you know, when you do when you're like an, you, you're right. an ass, you do the thing. Yeah. Well, she does the she kind of does like a like a half Wakanda. Yeah, yeah the hands are out, the hands are yeah. open, but it's yeah. a, it's basically no fist, no fist, but the yeah. the Wakanda cross yeah. over your chest. Yeah, it's the white um, people version of the Wakanda. Yeah, she not does cool. the mummy. Not, not as stylish. <laughs> she does the mummy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like the mummy version of it. Um, and, and she's like, oh, God. And she's like trembling. She's like, oh, well, this is our God. And, and he's like, is this your God? Can you tell us what it is? And they're interrogating her. And she's like, oh, I must bow before my God. And then she's like, she, they, they keep fucking they're trying to pump her for inf- information, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and, and he's like, hey, we promise you. Deanna Troy is like, nothing's going to happen to you. Be cool. Just, just tell us what's going on. Tell us what this is. And th- she's having like a religious experience. She's like closing her eyes. She's like having a moment there. Right. And all of a sudden, the uh, the old s- space ghost ship starts getting close to them. And, it's, and they're like, oh, shit, the thing's coming towards us, dude. We're fucked. It's really close. Really close. Mm-hmm. And then they, uh, Picard's like, I got an idea. Crazy idea. Boom. He puts his little communicator on her and he's like, mm-hmm. beam up that, that lady out of here. Mm-hmm. Uh, this God is upset that I took one of his children and yeah. they beam her back to her world. And all of a sudden the ship's like, ah, we're cool. We're cool. All right. All right, you fixed we're, it. Yeah, you fixed it. We, I just didn't want you to kidnap one of my babies, my sex babies. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, and Dr. Crusher is like, oh, fuck, we're definitely going to not get Wesley back. This, this, this failed. Yeah. And, and, and he basically, there's a conversation of like, look, we, we can't break the prime directive. But I'm not going to let your son die, which is right. a crazy thing to say. Like, hey, look, there's a weird com- the conversation they have weirdly implies something. I'm going to play it back because I think it's interesting really quick. What do you intend to do about my son? He's being held safely until sundown. When he faces execution, although he's committed no crime, certainly none any sane and reasonable person. Would- you saw what that thing was about to do. I apologize, sir, but this is very difficult for me. If he were your son, you'd be as frightened. But I am. So the, the, the Ricardo's theory of Picard suspecting he's his son, and then he's also as worried as she is, but I am. So I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. That did stick okay, out to me. Uh, look, do we find out if if, if, if it's a son or not? Uh, you we, can't tell me. Can well, you? I don't want to. I don't want to say anything that that goes one way or the other. I okay. just found it an interesting line because. Uh, it reminded me of of Dark Knight Rises, the for you line, where it could oh, yeah. potentially go one way or another because it's weirdly written. Yeah, so to, to me, that's what that felt like. Yeah, so I don't know for you. Um, and then, <laughs> Wait, and what's then, ambiguous uh, he, about that line? Because I'm not sure if he's saying like uh, if he were your son, but no, I I'm am, talking about for or, you. Oh, for you. Oh, well, because it's like it, it would be painful uh, for you, or he's a big guy for you. Like people like at arguments over what which he's talking referring to. But yeah, because because it says it d- does. Uh, yeah, he says you're you're. He says, he, "Oh, it would be incredibly painful." And the other guy replies, "Uh, well, you're a big guy." And then Bane's reply to that is, "For you." Yeah. So is he completing his thought of it would be incredibly painful for you, or is it actually a direct response to his line of him saying, "You're a big guy." 
for you. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I fall <laughs> in the category of... interpretation seems way yeah. too clumsy to me. I wouldn't give that any weight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it seems yeah. like it was more like Bane's line. Bane had been cut off by this guy and he finished yeah. his thought. That seems... And what, he's like, now now you die. Before I was just going to take you guys as hostages, now I'm going to crash this plane because yeah. you cut me off. <laughs> you didn't say, God bless you when I sneeze. That whole uh, first scene is really clumsy. Uh, for It's a cool scene, but not... The action scene's great, but I, I see the. It's the like problem. it's as a, like from a technical standpoint, it's very impressive. Yeah. From a storytelling perspective, it's nonsense. Absolutely like, nonsense. Also, for, for, well, from 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 a criminal mastermind sense, it's a bad idea. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of resources that have to be spent. Yeah, just to. Uh, it's like for what we just we just go to fucking Gotham. Let's go fuck shit up. Like why do <laughs> also, we need? Also, it's a really shitty, sloppy job. Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. we're it's like we're, well, we made it look like a plane crash, but the pieces of the plane are yeah. going to be across several miles. Yeah, yeah. Like, also, and we're also, also going to circulate blood shells. through this dead body. Yeah, we're going to replace his heart is stopped. all of his blood, yeah. all of the blood in this guy with this and other guy. Somehow, well, you don't think we have the forensic technology to figure out that these a couple of these dudes were shot? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry, Don't about, worry about it. it. Don't worry yeah. about it. It's all gonna be okay. As long as yeah. this guy has blood, yeah, he's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. For uh, some so reason, because it's to convert convert a, a <laughs> nuclear reactor into a bomb or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> So old Lupicard goes to see Data, and Data's like, "Look, that guy or that bubble sucked the shit out of my fucking information. Just sucked <laughs> it all out." Um, yeah, they worship Ed O'Neill. <laughs> they worship at O'Neill, and uh, that's their god, man. Uh, and now they know everything about us because they know everything I had in my brain. So yeah, and he's like, so yeah, I I don't know. And, he, and they're trying to figure out like, is what is this thing? What is this cluster thing? Uh, and he's like, well, and, and it basically it's the thing of like this all knowing, all being God, which is like, well, this thing could be at all every place at the same time. It could be here, it could be down there, it could be outside. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. And he, in so many words, he basically tells Luke Picard that like, we're fucked. You're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you're fucked either way because you, you're going to have to make a choice. Like you're either going to kidnap him or you're going to break the, the prime directive. And, um, there's another, it's funny. Cause there's two like kind of back to back scenes with data in Picard. And, mm -hmm. um, and in one of them, he's mad at him. Yeah, like he, he yeah. was like, "Data, you know, you need to shut the fuck up." Yeah, and yeah. We, we're get to the point. But then later, when he calls him Data in for that second meeting, he goes, "Data, I'm sorry. I need to. <laughs> yeah, I need to pick your brain because uh, you're you're much smarter than we are. Actually, yeah. So, yeah. so what should we do? And then Data just goes, uh, just take him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they, they set up they set up this scenario where, or at least in Picard's mind, he feels like they are being watched and evaluated and like yeah and evaluated in real time like they are watching and waiting for what for what they decide to do um mm -hmm. in order and he believes that their decision will if will you know perhaps incur some sort of judgment mm -hmm. and at the hands of these god beings so there's this like quandary about like well would they think less of us for not upholding our own principles by violating our right. own prime directive. Would they punish us and data, for that? Yeah. Yeah. Or and data also goes, um, actually he didn't say take him. Data said actually, um, like he's just one guy. Why would we risk the entire ship over one kid? So maybe we should just let him die. That's basically data's a, he's doing the uh the Spock Wrath of Khan, the needs of the few out oh uh, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Yeah. Ah, sort of but like, remember, yeah. Wesley is space Jesus Mozart. <laughs> he must yeah. be protected at all costs. Amadeus, Amadeus. Wesley must win. Amadeus, <laughs> Amadeus. The traveler guy. Amadeus. <laughs> You better play the Amadeus song over there. <laughs> <laughs> Amadeus, Amadeus. I, um, I just thought <clears throat> Spock me Amadeus, but that's so stupid because that has nothing to do with TNG. <laughs> Spock me Amadeus. <laughs> Are you um, talking about the Simpsons song? No, Rock or no, no. Well, Doctor Seuss was a Amadeus. parody of Rock Me Amadeus, yeah. which was a real yeah. song. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, right. I just I just immediately just assumed this is a Simpsons reference. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and basically, Picard's like, "All right, I'm gonna beam down there. I'm gonna figure this out." And the Doctor Crusher comes in. He's like, "She's like, well, what the fuck's happening?" And he's like, "Look, I'm gonna get him back, no matter the cost." 
<laughs> no matter yeah. how many lives it costs, we're going to bring that fucking war criminal up here. Because <laughs> he's he may be a war criminal, but he's our war criminal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and precisely and, that uh, energy yeah, yeah yeah and and old riker's back and the, the, we come back to riker and they're still there and you could tell riker's like fuck we're we're really missing out on valuable fuck time here <laughs> <laughs> oh riker's like he's like, like, mm, he's like whistly really him. fucked up our shit uh yeah. we, we could be fucking but now we're trying to steal this kidnap our own fucking war whole criminal. ship could have been getting off right now yeah damn. yeah yeah wesley the <laughs> now, ship now this girl doesn't walker. like me <laughs> um and then and then uh the blue picard and and dr crusher show up uh and uh ravon is like oh um i must bow to you because you guys are also gods you guys must be <laughs> gods because you guys have like all this technology and stuff and he, yeah. he she gives him back her, like the little communicator thing and he's like nah nah we're not gods we're just badasses dude uh, <laughs> oh i wish he said that yeah. no we're not gods we're just fucking badass so. yeah, yeah. Oh, man. and so so old the, the old uh what are they called the the ravers no what are the the ravers what? the the and they're not ravers the goddamn the, Edo? the no the the judge dreads what are they called the mediators Enforcers? mediators, the mediators yeah. yeah mediators show up i like again, judge dreads. and they got yeah <laughs> they show up with wesley he it looks like he's from the front shot there's the when you first see wesley it's a wide of him from the front and his hands are in his back and it looks like his hands are like um like handcuffed and i was like oh man they handcuffed a child that's fucking badass <laughs> but then when they when they cut to the the shot from the back which is the next shot mm. uh wesley's hands are in the on his front so i was like yeah. oh man continuity errors here <laughs> and he's not wearing any fucking uh any shackles or anything they're just like uh, he's a kid what are you gonna do <laughs> grow up a couple people that's fine with us um <laughs> so they're like wesley's like are they gonna kill me P captain what's happening to me and they're like well you fucked up dude <laughs> um and and then they're basically they start having this weird conversation clearly uh, the crew of the enterprise could just fucking shoot them all and be like we're done yeah. you guys are all dead and that's what you the, the ito say they also go like why don't you just take him like yeah we, yeah we have no ability to stop you yeah and they're yeah. like well we have this thing called the prime directive and, they're and like, he breaks it down he breaks it down like this is a prime directive but basically like the the argument is like yeah you broke our laws fucker like that's not that's on you and you being ignorant is not an excuse for breaking the law like you mm -hmm. broke the law whether you're an idiot or not or where you knew our laws or not but we can't we can't excuse you based on fucking ignorance just because you don't know the goddamn fucking law but he's like it looks like but this law is kind of like very weird like it's just it that's not part of our shit that's not yeah. our justice so basically for we both have to have justice and there also, he was also brought up the idea like, oh, we also just don't do capital punishment anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, not a thing yeah. our society ever does. Yeah. And then the, the Edo very clearly admit, oh, so you are more advanced than us because uh, yeah, you yeah. have done away with this sort of thing. So it's like it's kind of okay. weird how they seem to establish like a general like timeline of uh civilized evolution where like they have Edo on one end, then they have the Starfleet and Federation, and then the god beings up top. And I think in that conversation with Data, uh, Data happens to mention how these god beings could very well have been like humans earlier in their history. Right. They're they're going. They're, they're really making a very clear line of progression. Right. They they seem to area. love this idea of like all civilized all civilizations that evolve like do so in this trajectory kind of yeah it's all, it's all a line yeah everyone's the same there's no differences at all and <laughs> yeah it's kind of weird but like i am noticing that yeah. th that's kind of how they laid it out here yeah. well the star trek writing is very egocentric in that it's very based on like they it's supposed to be like more outward and more about like the world and what the universe and whatever, but it's very human centric. Like everything is deaf. Like there's episodes of the original series where it's even more so where like, Kirk will encounter this planet whose government sucks and he'll start like talking about the United States <laughs> and like democracy from the United States and shit like that. It's just like, ah, you know, we get it. You, you're a bunch of Americans writing this you're very, very centered on your own experiences. So it's, it's sort of from that perspective where it's very like narrow and they don't yeah. really, yeah. Um, and then, and then basically they're like, um, Wes is like, wait a minute. Are you telling me that if you save me, a bunch of people are going to die? And and Picard's like, 
just shut up. This decision doesn't involve <laughs> you, boy. Like I already and, resent and, you. Just yeah, stay out look, of it. You, you you fucked up. And and then and Wesley's like, well, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems like it does just involve. Yeah, me. God, he has this yeah, weird has, defiant yeah. moment. Yeah, I mean, it lines and up with his pre with the previous episode. He had a weird defiant moment there too. But it's funny because he has the weird defiant moment, but then it cuts back to Picard. He goes, just get over here. And then he does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, just shut up and get over here, dude. <laughs> Kiss your mother. He even dude. has a weird defiant moment idiot. in the next episode. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Why, Wes? Why? Why are you like because this? Because Gene Wesley? Roddenberry. <laughs> Gene, I'm, try, I'm trying to think Gene Rot- Rottenberry is, <laughs> is a rotten man. <laughs> yeah. Well, he was just he was just very full of himself, honestly. Because to be fair, Star Trek, the original series, was kind of crazy how successful it ended up being. So it's, he had, he was very big for his britches. And then he would get into like weird petty fights over the way the, sh- the shows, various shows and whatnot should be run. But I don't know. It's just him inserting him, his, himself. Yeah, into. dude, he's inserting himself. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, and, and, with and his then, rod and, and, and berries. And then Ed oh. O'Neill's, yeah, dude. And then Ed oh. O'Neill's people are like, what about our fucking justice, dude? Like, you can't just take him. And then Yara's like, no, what about Wesley's justice? Yeah. You know, Wesley lives matter. Um, <laughs> <laughs> even though he's a piece of shit. <laughs> um, oh, <no>. And <laughs> oh, no. Wesley is, is, is an all, this is the all lives matter scene in this. Oh, in this no. Scene, oh, where they're no. like, where he's like, no, 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 no. But, but, but we gotta we gotta take Wesley. We know we you need justice, but he's white. We can't kill a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> and and they're oh, they're no. basically like, we're gonna beam out of here. We're we're done with this conversation. Yeah. We're getting the fuck out of here, dude. Well, Picard does convince the the, the god being whatever. Well, we're skipping ahead like, a little bit because they first try to transport yeah. away and they can't. And nothing happens. Oh, yeah, and they can't because the god being again yeah. is blocking them as they did before earlier in the episode. We're like <laughs> And yeah, and then, and then the old Judge Reds are like, "Yeah, God's blocking you because you guys are fucking wrong." And then the Doctor <laughs> Doctor Crusher is like, "Well, then your God is unfair. <laughs> <laughs> your God's a bitch. Fuck yeah. your God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your God." Uh, he's like, "My my." Just starts basically, double she's barely, like, double f- like middle fingers up at the sky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's like, "Face me, you coward." Um, and and basically, Doctor Crusher is like, "Look." you can't punish someone who didn't know they're breaking the law basically like and then they're like dude again ignorance is not uh you can't avoid the law by fucking claiming ignorance as your goddamn defense you fucking old lady and <laughs> and and then he, picard shouts to the skies like hey god dear god i know you can hear me uh i know you're listening up there look it's me jean luc yeah it's me jean luc you know me, old Lukey. Um, there can be no justice as long that the, as long as like laws are absolute. Like there has to be like a there has to be the, the it's not the letter of the law. It's like in the spirit it was intended, kind of thing. Like, right. Yeah. It's, it's it's exactly Don't, that argument where it's like the yeah. Letter. yeah. There's a this. I have the speech here right here. Our laws have been violated. What of justice? What of justice to Wesley? Does he deserve to die? I'm truly sorry, Leator, but I must have justice for my people, too. I mean, not for that. Transporter room. Energize. Transporter room, come in. We can't energize the beam, sir. Everything checks out, but we're getting no results. God has prevented your escape. (laughs) Then your God is unfair. My son had no warning that his act was criminal. We cannot allow ignorance of the law to become a defense. I don't know how to communicate this, or even if it is possible. But the question of justice has concerned me greatly of late. And I say to any creature who may be listening, there can be no justice so long as laws are absolute. Even life itself is an exercise in exceptions. When has justice ever been as simple as a rule book? Damn, Will. Seems the Eater Lord agrees with you, number one. Dang, and then they tell So Riker's a true hero here. (laughs) He says the one thing that finally tips them over. It's like, ah, he's right. When has justice ever been just the rule book? Yeah. It's a good way of summing up the the Picard speeches in a a lot of the earlier seasons. That's true. That's true. He just comes in and tags it at the end. It's like, there. Yeah. Basically, Picard's saying, can we please just have an exception? (laughs) And get back to fucking already? 
Come yeah. On. Riker's okay. like, just just let's let's beam this guy up. I'll come down and make sure everything is fine for a couple <laughs> hours and everything will be just I just great. need a few hours to make yeah. sure everything we, yeah, really yeah. ten minutes. That's all I He's really like, need look, I need ten sure. minutes and three vials of fucking the best <laughs> antibiotics I will, man, <laughs> man has made. Guys, I will help them rebuild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One vagina at a time, oh, um, and then, and then old Ed O'Neill like says is like, all right, you guys can get the fuck out of here, dude. And <laughs> then, and then they uh, they beam back to the Enterprise, and they're like, oh fuck. And Riker's the complete opposite of the beginning of the episode. Beginning of the episode, big old smile. Now he's like, he's upset, <laughs> <laughs> he's wasted valuable fucking time. And then they they get into the bridge and they tell like the secondary crew, hey guys, yeah. seat warmers, get the fuck out of my chair, dude. <laughs> and, and the seat seat warmers like leave and they sit the down. Bitches leave. They always yeah. scurry away. It's like, yeah. oh geez, they're back. Yeah. And then and then uh, Picard's like, hey, broadcast this on all frequencies. Boom. Hey, Ed O'Neill, if you can hear me, is it cool if we leave those people that we left on a other planet? Like, can we just leave those people there? If you want us to pick them up, that's cool too. We understand. But um, but let us know. Give us a sign of what you guys think. And then they fucking just disappear. Oh, they're at your boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, nah. They just literally hung up. They ghosted. They ghosted Picard. <laughs> they sure yeah. did. <laughs> and and, and, uh, and uh, I guess they're like, well, I guess that's a... Uh, that's a sign, huh? It's short and sweet. Uh, we got it. We got the signal. We're cool. We'll get the fuck out of here. Go find another sexy planet. Fuck them. <laughs> we need to replace and, this planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never verify and that then, the previous colony is okay, though. They might have just silently no, no. gone over there to terrorize and kill them all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were. They're yeah. like, no, we'll take care. <laughs> yeah, of don't worry. Them. We'll, yeah, don't leave worry. That, we'll leave them. Don't to worry. Us. We'll we'll get our justice <laughs> one way or another. <laughs> Oh, we'll literally man. make fleshlights out of them, oh, out of their God. flesh. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh man, they got dark, didn't it? Um, oh, all right, so. intense. <laughs> this is an intense it's, podcast. I know. Mm. And then, and then, Luke Card's like, uh, he looks out, and he's like, "Well, I guess we got our signal. Cool, that's fine." I was hoping we might learn something else from them, but fuck it. Oh, they yeah, that is leave. funny cool. how he says that. It's like, I yeah. kind of want to know a little more, but yeah. I, and then, and then, and then um, th- this is also a funny moment where uh, Picard says, well, get us out of here, number one. And then, and then Riker's like, gladly, sir. And he just sits down <laughs> and does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he sits down, looks around, and cut to nothing else <laughs> he didn't do anything his back wasn't he was back was hurting he's like i gotta sit down i gotta sit down to give these orders um i pulled uh muscle fucking and i gotta sit down now hey that that's his vessel yeah, piloting they, style remember the first episode uh, yeah likes yeah, to sit yeah. back and tell people what to do they that's make me wear these true. spandex costumes with these really hard heeled boots all day my back is in feet are in pain yeah plus he's been running around that planet all day yeah in those fucking Chase, shoes but yeah. All around those chairs have like women. a missing strip of lumbar support. That's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. The future um, is not about comfort. The yeah. future. Ergonomics are a lost art. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, that concludes the <laughs> my description of the, the episode, uh, which is very crazy. It's, it's laced with a bunch of expletives. Uh, <laughs> it's also, it's got my, if you guys want to take that bite out of context, it's going to be great. <laughs> uh, they're going to make fleshlights out of their literal flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo um, 2020. Yeah, 2020. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm running on. Oh. By the way, uh, if anyone was wondering why these costumes looked so reminiscent of the original series, it's because one of the costume designers for the original series came back to do this one. That's true. Because a lot of the episodes in the original series um, had tons of people wearing kind of skimpy outfits episodes that happened a lot because, you know, Kirk. And he's like, you good know, news, Kirk. guys. I found another <laughs> box of old T-shirts I can cut up. <laughs> yeah, that's essentially what happened here. <laughs> You know, like a lot of a lot of the shorts are really just regular booty shorts and they just cut the sides off of yeah. them. Yeah. And that's kind of what the costumes are. But yeah. Uh Ricardo, having watched this sexy episode, what do you think? How many starships is this episode? Um for? out of ten, as always, uh we're I'm gonna go this was solid, but I I need somewhere to go in case there's like really good ones. Like it it's this is 
Star Trek episodes, this is like the Costco of 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 episodes where you're like, <laughs> you're like, I'm looking for something, but it could be in the back, so I'm gonna wait and not get this thing, and then the, it's like the warehouse never ends. Like you keep walking <laughs> and walking, and you're like, eventually I'll find the thing I'm looking for. But uh, for now, I'm gonna give it. Um, I'm gonna give it. This was a solid. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half, uh, just so I have somewhere to go. It was sexy. Uh, a lot of curly haired <laughs> women. Uh, I didn't like that it was all white. I wish I could have <laughs> known more about the that god dude, bubble god, Ed O'Neill, mm. and or like the ethnic cleansing that happened in this planet. Because there's only <laughs> white people. So I, I wanted her to know more. Uh, you, man. More but again, locks. like most of the episodes, they just kind of gloss over it. That's not yeah. important. A lot of the episode lessons. is filled up with with uh, scantily clad shots. That was the priority yeah. of the yeah. episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I gave it a lower rating. It would have been maybe like a, like an eight. But uh, Wesley didn't die. So it went down <laughs> half a They starf. had to go out yeah. of their way to save him. Yeah, that's yeah. And that's very, very yeah. hard. Yeah. I wish just one person would have been like, well, he deserves it. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, no, no. And then ah, I'm just Jordy kidding. just randomly goes, well, yeah. do we really need him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, no, he's but just like says, the remember son. what he did? <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh. Uh, and Worf was like, what did. did he do? I wasn't in that episode. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I was on leave. Fucking yeah. a, a, a non-human. <laughs> Wait, no, that was the wrong episode he wasn't in. He was actually not in uh, the racist Wakanda episode. That's the one he wasn't in. True. Oh, yeah. Right, because he was on the bridge going, I don't understand their humor either. That's something. Yeah, so. um, uh, Dan, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, my favorite parts of this episode uh, mostly involve that moral quandary it's basically that conversation between picard and q uh, i'm sorry why did it bring q in here <laughs> i'm thinking way ahead picard and data q, q data uh and uh yeah like that's my favorite bit but otherwise the the rest of the episode kind of annoys me so it's like 6.5 <laughs> for me okay okay i would give it like a seven point i agree with ricardo i give it like a 7.5 i think the episode could have been really, really great if they actually spent more time going into the lore of what's going on, because they kind of just establish a premise. And a lot of it's kind of just mulling about like they don't really like explore more avenues of like, well, what is these are these God people or like they kept saying you should have known what this place was like before we had that law. And like, well, what was it like? You didn't really explain, you know, kind of would have been cool. Like, oh, it was terrible. And I was like, do you really yeah. even know? It's like, eh. <laughs> yeah, maybe they could, it could have been an interesting point of reference for something. But yeah. And again, uh, we never we didn't touch on it like super specifically. But the point about a lot of people hate this episode because Wesley is kind of the cause of all of the issues. Right. right. And I it could have been anyone. You know, they just made it Wesley. You know, it, it, he's basically not even a character in this episode. He just kind of exists just to be a hostage, mm-hmm. you know? So I'm I'm actually fine with him in this episode. It's not, he's not made to be space Jesus. He's just a victim. So I'm just like, eh. You know, like, yeah, it's Wesley's fine. own behaviors in this episode aren't particularly bad. And from a writing perspective, it's not especially obnoxious. It's, a, it's obnoxious when he goes, I don't know, sir. I think it does involve me, you know? And it's like, he's being weirdly like shitty to Picard who's trying to save him. Yeah, like he has but, a couple of know. dumb lines like that. Like, I'm starved. Fleet. I don't yeah, lie. I don't. I don't lie. I'm an honorable boy. But, I'm know. an honor boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. It was fine. This episode was fine. I'm. Uh, the show gets better. One last, but, you know, random observation. The what the heck, Johnny Leonidas guy. The, Johnny Lee, <laughs> just the just the main dude who greets them along with uh, Rivon. Oh, 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 uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Creatine, the, creatine, cre- yeah, sure. Yeah, Leonidas, no, wrong name. Creatine, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um he to me looks like a young michael kane yeah yeah, yeah. Well, like it was American... bothering me for a very long time yeah. so i just yeah. want to make sure that yeah. was on record he, he, actually he looks like a very famous character actor i can't remember the name of his name but the well, name his, of his act, name his actor I don't remember is named his name. jay loudon jay so loudon i don't know if that yeah mm. i don't know i don't know i don't know what if, they should have had a uh, line about him talking about a jewel the size of a tangerine a tangerine see yeah <laughs> see if that played uh, she, okay. was, she was only she was only 16 <laughs> um, in the context of this episode him saying that yeah. is very creepy <laughs> yeah. oh michael king michael king was in this he would definitely be creepy as shit dude. oh well, yeah 
Uh, at the, yeah. Uh, yeah, good old um, Michael Michael Brown era, Michael Caine. Yeah, yeah. Or John. Yeah, wait, was that the game? It was it Michael Brown? Was that the name of that movie where he was? Um, um, no, you had it right. You had it right. Oh, it was Michael Brown. Yeah. No, it's no D- Danny Brown. Nope, nope. That's a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I'm sorry. I'm thinking of the more modern movie he did. I'm, I'm thinking about Get Carter. Get Carter. Yeah, yeah Michael yeah, Brown get, was more the, like recent. It was like post yeah, Batman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This was if you get you get get Carter, Jack Carter, Michael Caine in here. Yeah, <laughs> Jimmy Carter uh, too. <laughs> Jimmy Carter's just like, oh, oh my god, oh, all time. Let's let's build a let's build a house for him. <laughs> we have to cover these people in houses. Cover these people yeah. in houses. <laughs> That's his dream. That's his goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To house them all. Uh, uh, that was justice. Yay! Um, it was it was fine. <laughs> I'm not yeah. mad at Wesley at this one. This is not the shitty one for Wesley to me. Uh, but the next episode is the battle, which I personally enjoy quite a bit because it's a lot of uh, Jean Luc Picard lore, and I always love more lore about the Picard because he, he's got an interesting story, and the entire series keeps it completely in canon and very consistent. So it's actually very satisfying when they bring past things up because it all fits together like a puzzle. It's great. I prefer getting more data so. on on Picard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I get it. I get it. Star Trek. Hey, listener, oh, you got you... it too, didn't you? <laughs> You're a fan, <laughs> ain't you? <laughs> you remember that episode, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you guys, if you guys have been enjoying this podcast, you can find more episodes at newbiestartrek.com. That's N-E-W-B-I-E Star Trek.com. You can also find newbie Star Trek at various other places. We're on the TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Twitter. Technically, we're on Twitter, but you know, MySpace. Uh, <laughs> oh, now I'm tempted to just make a MySpace with, but the you profile what, is that crazed Wesley picture. Oh, you know? Michael, uh, Michael from is it? No, sorry, Tom from from MySpace. All he mm-hmm. wanted to do is bring people together. He never, he never, like that fucker never took your information. No, nope, never sold nope. it to the fucking Russians. No, nope. like that bitch ass fucking. Facebook, dude. You know, have you seen modern MySpace? Because it's definitely still a thing. Like, have yeah, you, yeah, like, yeah. Proved? All he wanted was he was like, "Look, I want to sell this thing, make some money, buy some weed, and retire." And yeah, that's what he exactly, did. Never exactly, sold your information. Yeah. And now MySpace is like a kind of actually bustling for musicians. Like, it's a, a lot yeah, of musicians right, right. use yeah. MySpace to just show off their work. It's kind of cool. That's what I thought it it's was like, like a, a decade ago. What is it? Is that? Is it still just that? It's still what it's doing. Yeah, to the point where the front page kind of prioritizes that. I think. No, it's uh, just so. a porn site. <laughs> my space my porn space <laughs> uh, also we have another podcast another one it's called the fugitive frames yeah film podcast by the way if anyone was wondering why there's two f's in the, the the newbie star trek logo it's because we're all part of the fugitive frames of family group family the family the gang the gang <laughs> the tribe the clan yeah so we're all fugitive frames and uh yeah. the original podcast that's actually the original podcast uh the fugitive frames film podcast um yeah and uh ricardo you want to talk more about yeah, that? yeah look i I've, I've we've been really busy uh lately so we haven't updated we have three episodes in the can uh getting ready to release i'll give you a little little spoilers on what they are uh upcoming episodes by the time this comes out this episode we'll already released the psychological thrillers episode but you can check that out if you haven't Mm -hmm. that's fun a talk we had with rick our friend rick then we have the director's cut is is an ongoing series we do on directors where we talk about neil brain films that's a two-parter episode so either one or two parts should be out soon uh so check that out if you like shitty movies like Neil Brain movies? Look, <laughs> some of it, it's too much to get into right now. Ah, damn. Neil, Neil I just went down mystery. the Neil yeah. Brain wormhole and I I, I got to get out of here, guys. Just listen <laughs> to the podcast. Yeah. Uh, he'll suck your brain. Yeah. He is All a mystery. Brain. You don't yeah. quite understand how this exists but it does yeah. yes yeah. also uh all three of us plus our friend marcel we are uh, making uh youtube videos on a channel called fugitive games which is uh, generally a let's play channel um right now yeah. we are still going through max Payne 3 we are in the middle of phoenix Wright ace attorney which has been a ton of fun uh in fact my uh, also my partner sarah has joined us to voice act for that because there's so many voices we needed a third and uh you know it's been a lot of fun because she also hasn't watched it before so it's been quite fun there mm-hmm. yeah and then also 
Ricardo and Marcel are by the time his episodes come out, we'll have two of their episodes will have come out by then. We're uh, Man of Medan. Well, how me done? I don't know. We but. we still don't know. We've done a couple episodes, <laughs> and we don't we 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 met we change it up every All time. All I know me is Dan, that that title makes me Don Dan uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah so, so the first episode of their Let's Play of Man of Medan, Medan. Yeah, uh, I feel like Medansky. I feel like some guys tipping his hat at me at all times. <laughs> yeah. Medan, man, Medan. <laughs> Get away um, from me. Yeah, it's a weird like horror series that we're 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 playing through. I've never played it, uh, so it's very weird. Uh, if you like more of the shenanigans of us just talking shit, then you should <laughs> listen to that episode because it's. I find Marcella it interesting because it's by Supermassive, who also made Until Dawn, which everyone yeah. like yeah. universally loved. But then yeah. this series, the, the the dark anthology series, yeah, with Manimate, apparently it's not great. And then we watched the. I, I watched that first episode. And I was like, what is this? What's happening? So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's actually kind of surprising how quickly it turned to schlock. So um, well, anyway, go straight to uh, that. Oh, we're having, we're having fun. We're having, having fun. Yeah. Oh, did they? Okay. I thought, I thought dark anthology was like their next they did a thing. VR right after thing as well. And but it, wasn't that related to until dawn too, in some way or, Oh, I don't know. I could be wrong. Wait, oh, so you're just considering all until dawn titles is like one thing. I was just thinking of it as like, Oh, maybe they're just, you know, those, cause like it had the title, just, like but it wasn't, product. I don't think it was particularly related. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, in any case that that's a bit also, they'll, <laughs> they'll also be doing, uh, some, some, uh, call of duty war zone videos, which is a thing I know nothing about. Yeah. But they know a ton about so we know a ton of it but we we're not good look if you want to <laughs> again if you want to just watch us play video games and talk shit which is what we do i mean we watch shows and talk shit look at this episode look at yeah. this i mean not this whole show is <laughs> is me uh <laughs> just talking <laughs> <laughs> which i love to do um and Excellent. i'm learning a lot about the ferengi and naked white people uh, <laughs> and and to be honest like if you would have uh, if uh, in a moment of honesty here now i'm always honest if you would have told me like in high school like hey you're gonna be watching star trek i'd be like don't believe it. <laughs> I'm, I'm never going to watch Star Trek. But you know what? We started this journey and I'm loving it. In fact, to be to be fair, I think I like this uh, this this podcast more than the film one. And I love movies. Oh. Just because oh, well, like this well. is a thing I've never seen where like the movies that we usually talk about, I've seen over and mm -hmm. over. So this is, it's kind of like refreshing to really do this 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 um this show. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time, Ricardo, because uh, I, th I think uh, it's just a you know, a little inside baseball. Dan and I have been talking about this podcast for like, I don't know, like a, since college, I think, or something like it, where it was just like, it'd be really fun if people just talked about, you know, uh, if we could just do like a bullshit thing about Star Trek as, as some sort of thing. Uh, but I think it it's turned out that it's more fun when you're doing it with someone who's never seen it. And you're kind of just like, what do they think? Yeah, actually, <laughs> it, like it, it all starts from the very basic premise of the probably the most fun you can have as any as a fan of Star Trek in any capacity is to just remember all the stupid bullshit that occurs in Star Trek. Yeah. Just yeah. reminisce about the stupid like, bullshit yeah, that yeah. Star Trek has yeah. in it. And it's just fun. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Cause like overall it's a good show, but it's full of bullshit. That's for sure. Yeah. Like, so that's, that's what makes it kind of a fun ride. Uh, so anyway, that was another episode of newbie Star Trek. Next week, we're going to the battle which is uh, kind of a personal favorite of mine because I am very much a fan of going into more Jean-Luc Picard background. But in the meantime, everybody, take care. We'll see you again next week. Have a great time. Bye. Bye. Buongiorno. <laughs> uh.